Hello and happy World Poetry Day. This year we asked the winners of our 2023 MRB Poetry Contest to send us videos of them reading their contest winning pieces for World Poetry Day. Here is third place winner Y.S. Lee along with Otanea J. Okotbitek reading Admission. Enjoy! Hi, my name is Y.S. Lee and uh, joining me today is my friend the poet essayist, novelist, um, Otania J. Okat Bitek, who, whose most recent po uh, collection of poetry is called Song and Dread. Um, we're here to read to you a poem called Admission, which is a poem with two voices. Um, and before we start, I just thought I'd tell you where the idea came from. Um, it came to me when I was in the Chinatown Storytelling Center in Vancouver. I was listening to a recorded track of information, and I had this moment of sudden recognition, not from other gallery spaces, but from mem conversations with members of my family who are suffering some form of cognitive decline and who tell their stories over and over in, uh, in an effort to make a connection. And it was just a parallel that I hadn't seen before. So this poem is called Admission. My mother has begun to talk about her father who died when she was 13. My father's family was so poor, they didn't eat lunch. Secret draped in sheets, sealed in the remotest rooms of the museum. In the afternoon, my mother told him to stand in the yard and clean his teeth with a toothpick. So obscure, I once found a photo and asked, is this? So the neighbors would think they'd just eaten. He was 45 years gone. Afterwards, he took his kite and went to the field. He was there too my brother walking around with his face. And other children, and ran very fast. I clutched this ticket tight, my surprise admittance. So he didn't look hungry. But her words are also rope and stanchion. My father's family eat lunch in the yard with neighbors. The scripted loop of an exhibit, directing attention here and here. Afterwards, he took his kite and ran very fast. Wearing away the minutes of each day. He didn't look hungry. Count backwards from 100 by sevens. My father's in the yard. Neighbors took his kite. Draw a clock face that shows 10 minutes past 11. Ran fast, didn't look. How are a train and a bicycle alike? Father's. Her neurons fire and fire and fire in the yard while the edifice smolders to rubble and ash. Look. Thank you for listening.